Hello friends, fellow beer geeks. I'm Wes, your craft beer geek, and I'm here tonight with a beer from Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Uh, they're out of Chico, California. Originally also have a brewery in uh, Mills River, North Carolina as well now. This is a beer from them I have not seen in the past. I don't know if it's something new. I believe it's fairly new. As I said, haven't seen this one before. This is their Hot Bullet Double IPA. It comes in at 8% alcohol by volume. Got a 12 ounce bottle here. And yeah, I go ahead and read the description here on the back. Hop Bullet Double IPA features a new technique. We're hitting the beer with a double-barreled slug of Magnum hops and lupulin dust. Uh, lupulin dust is a source of hop flavor and aroma right into the fermenter for a ballistic burst of aggressive hop character. I'm excited to give this one a try. As I saw it, as I said, it's a it's a new one to me anyway. Just saw it at my local Trader Joe's the other day and picked up a bottle and want to see what it's like. So let's go ahead and get this one cracked open into a glass and check it out. Been a while since we've had a Sierra Nevada beer on the channel here, so that's also a cool thing. Let's see what it pours out like. Okay, so the Hot Bullet Double IPA has poured out a nice golden orange color. Uh, pretty clear beer. Looks like it's probably been filtered. Uh, didn't get too much in the way of a head when I poured this. I tried to pour it a little bit aggressively as I noticed it wasn't seem to form, form, seeming to form a head. Uh, just not really getting much in the way of a head on this beer. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the aroma is like. Definitely getting a lot of pineapple in the nose on this one. A very sweet, fruity kind of aroma. Very sugary. Yeah, it definitely has a very sweet candy-like aroma. So I'm ready to go ahead and give this one a taste, let you know what I think. Cheers if you're drinking along. Yeah, the taste seems to follow along with the uh, with the aroma profiles here. Uh, again, I'm getting a lot of sweet, fruity, pineapple kind of flavors in the beer. Uh, has about a medium a medium body to it, not a light beer, not a super heavy beer, um, about where you'd expect for an 8% uh, double IPA. I'm getting some nice bready sort of sweet maltiness there. Yeah, kind of disappointing that the head doesn't want to seem to stick around or form on this beer at all. Uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of unfortunate, just uh, it's a little bit under under undercarbonated in my opinion. Okay, so I'm ready, think I'm ready to sort of wrap up my review, give you my final thoughts of the Hop Bullet from Sierra Nevada Brewing. Uh, yeah, at this point in the game, I think this one's just a, a bit of a letdown for me. It's, it's kind of a one note kind of thing. Uh, you're getting a lot of those sweet tropical pineapple-y kind of notes but that's something that's been around for a while it's not it you know it's kind of a little bit late to the party as far as this kind of beer uh it, it doesn't really tell much of a story as far, as far as the maltiness there's a bit of there's a bit a bit of a sort of a sweet bready maltiness there but it's it's kind of very very basic very plain you're getting a lot of those tropical fruit kind of notes in the hops but you know, and the, the carbonation is not really right in my opinion. It's a little bit undercarbonated. Just kind of doesn't do anything that interesting to me. Yeah. So with that being said, I think I'm gonna have to give the the Hop Bullet a six out of ten. I mean, it's not it's not a bad beer. It's just it seems like something that should have been done seven or eight years ago. You know, it's kind of there's a lot better out there as far as I'm concerned and we were talking about something like this so unfortunately this one's not that great uh, let me know what you think of it if you've had the hot bullet from Sierra Nevada maybe this was just a bad bottle bad batch for me uh, but it's really just not doing much for me it's kind of kind of very boring as far as its flavor profile uh, it's got a little bit of a problem there I'm thinking with the with the, the carbonation not being right it just doesn't have much going on for it so that's my final thoughts. Six out of ten. Thank you for watching this episode of the Craft Beer Geek. If you like this review, you can find lots more over at craftbeergeek.com. All my reviews get posted over there by brewery as well as by style. Uh, so if you want to see some other double IPA reviews I've done in the past, you can check it out all over there or other Sierra Nevada beers that 
find some ones that I have liked. You can do that all over there, craftbeergeek.com. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. And remember, I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. Drink responsibly. Thanks for watching. Cheers.